right, boys, so today we're doing Venn diagrams. So this is really what a Venn diagram looks like. So you've got a rectangle. Inside it you have circles. At this stage we're only probably going to be doing two circles. So one circle talks about a particular thing. It might be that you're a male. It might be that you like cricket. Um, B is a different thing. Uh, and then we've got an overlap in the middle. Now in that overlap in this, that section there, that's where we have the numbers of people that fit both categories together. So they fit into A and they fit into B. Now there's one tricky thing with this and it's the word or. So when they say A or B, it's not the normal meaning of or. Okay, so it means a or B, but it also means all both. Okay, so if we were looking at this Venn diagram here, we'd be saying the A people or the B people or both. So you've got to look at all three parts when they say that. Okay, mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive events are events that are completely independent of each other. They can't both happen together. And in a Venn diagram, they would look like that. So I've given you an example here for 8-4 maths and 8-3 maths. That's a group of people. That's a group of people. You can't be in both classes. So there is no overlap. There isn't anybody that's in both of these groups. Okay, now, when we look at this first example here, it tells you what it's all about, so we need to read it. A group of students were asked whether they liked maths or science at school. The Venn diagram shows the results. Okay, so up here we've got a maths group, a science group. So the results of the survey said that we've got 21 people that said I only like maths, 12 people that said I only like science. And these nine people in the middle said well I like maths and I like science so I fit into both groups. And these eight people said, I don't like maths and I don't like science, I'm not going into either group. So they float around the outside here because they don't fit into either of these groups. Okay, now the questions are asking, how many students? So we need to give a number for all of these. How many students were surveyed? Well, they're just going to add up all these numbers to include everybody. And we get 50 when we add them up. The next one says, how many students liked maths but not science? So they're in the maths circle, but they're not in the science circle. So it's just these 21 here. Now the next question says, liked maths or science? Now this is the tricky one, right? So remember what or means. Or means A or B or both. So we want maths or science or both. So here's the maths, 21. Here's the science, 12. So that's maths only and science only. But we also have to add in the nine that liked both. So 21 plus 12 plus nine and add those up. All right, in D, liked maths or science, but not both. So this time they're trying to qualify what they actually mean. We want like maths or science, but not these people in the middle that like both. So it's just 21 plus 12, 33. In E, they're asking how many students did not like either subject. Well, they didn't fit into any circle. It's these people floating around the outside here. Eight. And in F, they're asking who, how many students liked maths and science, both of them. And it's just the nine in the middle there. So we're going to come back in the next video and do some more examples on this.